Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We've had seven new ship kits released. The Hazard ship kit, very industrialized, on seven ships. The Cobra, the Crate, the Asp Explorer, the Python, Anaconda, Type 6, and Type 9. Now, do they add to the aesthetic? Do you think they're a bit too busy? Are the lights any good? Well, we'll dive into each of these modules and look at some of the plus and negative points. So first up, and in no particular order, we've got the good old Type 9. Yes, folks, if you're a hauler of community goals, you may well be using this behemoth to transport all your hard-earned goodies from one point to another. Perhaps you even just use it just to ship tritium back and for your fleet carrier. Even though it's quite sort of like underpowered, but it has got a large carrying capacity. A lot of commanders, though, do tend to be using the Imperial Cutter for that. Food for thought, do it in style. Anyway, it's a big old dinner plate of a model. Uh, there's no denying that. It's huge and it handles like a flying brick. So, even though these embellishments won't do anything to improve the performance, they will make it look a little bit better. Now, with all the ship kits in the hazard pack, they do come with their own paint jobs as well. Checking out the paint jobs, we've got a Construct, nice yellows. We've got the Supervise, which I currently got applied to the ship here. We've got a green one, which is the Engineer, a red for Demolish, a sort of a Bob the Builder color here for support. I quite like that when it's nice and fresh. You've got a Survey one, there you go. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Now, it's quite interesting to note that, and with all the models that this hazard ship kit has been applied for, is that if you change your colour of your ship, the ship kit changes too. So, some are saying, oh, it's a bit expensive. I think it's quite good value for money. It is an in-game embellishment, and it really is kind of up to you. So, let's take a look now, down to the ship kits. Some models have got all four assigned. Other models haven't. Uh, they've only got three. But we're going to put them on now. So into the spoiler, there's a big spoiler part you've put there. And you see it's all got done itself, colour matching with the back end of the ship. Into the wings. And we've got these sort of like, I don't know, wing bumper protectors or whatever they are on the side there. The hazard wings go back into the tail. Uh, we've got some sort of like engine flaps. They don't move or anything like that. You just look pretty. And we're going to go onto the bumper. There you go. And you get all the scaffolding um, and additional spotlights that are on the ship as well. Let's go to the surface of my carrier. That'll be a little bit easier to have a look around um, and absorb what this model's all about. Now, the Type 9, I mean, a lot of people use them. Um, I've got two of them. That's not a boast. Uh, I'm thinking on getting rid of one and just keeping one of them there just... Just to say that I've got one, I can use this ship kit. But straight off the bat, out of the cockpit, you'll see there's very little evidence of the kit being applied, which could be a good thing. You've got that bit of scaffolding here. You've got this bit at the top and to the sides. Nothing much at the bottom. Uh, the good thing about this, it doesn't actually obscure the view, should you be in combat. Now, let's face it, in a Type 9, if you're in combat, you're usually going to be running away from people because the hard points are such that you're not going to really stand alone in a fight. If you do get in a fight, people are looking to get what you're hauling. So let's take a look outside. So here we go from the back. You can see now, not constricted by the dullness of the hangar bay, that we've got these vents on the back of the engine bay. Right, there's your engines, there's these nice vents. Well, all very good. It would be nice if they could have moved as well, but hey, you know, these. this is just a ship kit. It's just an embellishment. Nothing more, nothing less. You've got some sort of like ruddery vent at the back as well. Again, you know, there's those people who say, well, oh, is it paid to win? It's not paid to win because it's not actually doing anything. But if it did and it gave you extra maneuverability, that would be something. I'd be all right with that because this ship it's like dragging a dead Labrador around a garden. Um, you know, it's not very maneuverable, but then again, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be a fighter. You want something multi-superiority? 
look for the anaconda in the same sort of size or you know a little bit smaller look for the python you've got four additional spotlights on the top and if you move all the way down to the front we've got another four so that's eight so far plus the two you already get in the front and then at the bottom look at that you've got some on the chin now we've had a good look as well and none of the gun ports are obscured by this ship kit so FDEV really have thought about it you've got all this sort of scaffolding that's the only word I can say for it scaffolding and what looks like to be something that could absorb an attachment another sort of like piece of equipment on top of this side here as well and we've seen that all the way through all the ship kits with the lights on great lights off great the existing lights already work not exactly sure what those are speakers vents god knows whatever they are um but it seems to be a color a common sort of like graphic i've seen through all the ship kits there um so yeah lots of scaffolding uh you've got these what look like to be sort of like wing protectors god knows what those are uh they look quite cool um, does it do anything for the ship? Well, let me know in the comments on the Type 9, right? So the Type 9, very busy, adds a little bit on there. It makes it look like a constructional hauler. Um, I do like this bit right at the top, right here. I do like that. Um, they have gone to the town on the lights on this one. They really have. And that's what sort of drew me to it. I've long been an advocate of having more lights on the ships or having to have them bolted on. Anyway, what do you think? I think it looks all right. It's a big old beast. All depends when you're going to use that Type 9. Doing your community goals. Um, doing your power play. You know? Or just plain old trading. Not really good in combat. But it's a nice embellishment. Needless to say. Now here's a ship. We should all know quite well. Even for the new commander. You should be inspiring to get one of your first ships... So like, you know, as the Cobra Mark III, flown by the infamous Commander Jameson and the main protagonist ship from the majority of all the Elite games. It's just one of the ships we get in the myriad of ships that you get in Elite Dangerous, but it is a classic shape. Some commanders may have been lucky enough to get the Mark IV as well if you were an early adopter. However, with this particular model, it is the Mark III. And it's my Mark III, and I like it. We are rocking one of the Pax the Hazard paint jobs. And what we're going to do now is take a look down in the hangar and see what we can bolt on it to make it a little bit more industrialized. So here we are in the livery section, and we're going to get start off by popping on the spoiler. Now, there's a few ship kits available, some quite good ones, really. Um, that were available from the Ark store. I'm not really a fan of the Raider spoiler. Why would you want to put loads of jagged metal on, on your ship? If that's your look, that's up to you. And it's all about a little bit of individuality. I tend to go for some of, some of the other stuff that makes it look a bit more whizzy. Anyway, we're here to talk about the Hazard Pack. So let's get the big Hazard Array on top. The Hazard Spoiler. Featuring some spotlights as well. So we'll pop that on. Next up, we're on the wings. There you go. Again, we've got some of those wing protectors and some sort of like hydraulic arms. Lots of scaffolding. On the tail, again, it's all about the flaps. And on the bumper, on the nose cone. There you go. Got some additional spotlights. So let's get back on the deck and have a good look in daylight. Or the light of the planet. Now straight away with this ship kit, you can see some of your hard-earned arcs in action. You've got the, the bars going down, the sort of scaffolding, the industrial scaffolding yet again. No obstruction of view, so it's still viable in combat, I would say. Again, you've got that big arm going down there. Of course, the seating position isn't central. It's two by two in the Cobra, uh, with me taking up the left seat. The front, though, you can still see some of the spotlights and what looks like to be those cow catchers that used to get on the old 4x4s. You know the ones. Now I must admit, I do like this one. Um, turning the lights on. Look at that. There's five lights at the top. 
clustered around uh, the top of the vessel. You've got one here on the top right there. Don't really know what that is. Um, I thought those might have been lights. In certain angles, you think, oh, are they lit up or are they just reflections? Are they speakers? I don't know. Play your tunes. Who knows? You've got a good bit of scaffolding, a nice cluster of four at the top, and if we swing down, you've got four sort of like either side of the cockpit. Now, where are the existing lights? Well, you can't quite see them, can you? Right? So, it's quite a good mod. It's quite a good model. I quite like this sort of like cow catcher thing at the front. Again, it looks quite good, I think, in the green. Um, got some sort of like hydraulic ram or arm or God knows what that could be. And some of these, I think, could be quite reminiscent of what you see on films like on the Abyss and on the subs down there, you know? That sort of like industrialized scaffolding that goes on there. So well done to the art department for sort of channeling all that sort of stuff. Some sort of bent cover there, don't know what all that's about. Um, again, that looks like some sort of a harpoon because you've got a big old You've got like a hose there. Or some sort of reel of cable. But I'm pretty sure they're not there to water their garden. So it's got to be something and some sort of harpoon that's there. Of course, at the moment, it's not active. It, don't, it won't be active. These are just embellishments. You've got your wing guards there. And at the back, you've got these flaps. A couple of tanks as well. Good reflections going on. I think, you know, it, it, it it's pretty good. I'm... No, I mean, I'm impressed with it. You know, lots of hydraulics there. You can get the reflections. And again, on the other side, got parity with this module. Um, whereas you've got those sort of like grappling hooks either side. But either way, I think the Cobra Mark III is quite a nice one. Um, different colours, you know, might give you a sort of a different effect. But I think this particular colour, I think it's nice. It's a bit garish, a bit ostentatious. Um, but no, I think it's quite a good mod. Quite a good model um, for the ship kit as well. Of course, you get your yeah, five lights. Kapow, look at that. Very nice. Illuminate in the dark where no, where no light exists. How good would that be when going down and doing a bit of exploring around your um, abandoned bases and what have you? Quite a good model. Um, let me know what you think on the old Cobra Mark III. I mean... How many people fly a Cobra Mark III? I tend to use them for some ground missions, for the retro value. But as you tend to progress, you're more looking at the crates uh, and that sort of stuff that allow you to, to jump around a bit further. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about the Cobra Mark III hazard ship kit. Next up, we've got an old favorite. Hate it, whether you prefer the DBX or the Explorer. Um, let's not mention the Scout. The DBX Explorer is a dinner plate of a ship. Not particularly good in combat, and I can attest to that, but as an Explorer, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. You've got good visibility out of the front, and that is not restricted in any way by the ship kit, as you can see. We've got the lights either side of the cockpit, there we go. Look at that. There it is. You can see my commander inside is not at all um, restricted by any of this scaffolding that's going on here. No dramas there at all. Uh, we've got... Looks to be a bit of reinforcement going on between different sides of the ship. We've got these, um, again, sort of like wing edge protectors. Okay. Um, flaps at the back. There's like a few flaps. And then in the middle, right at the top, look what we've got here. Got two big honking spotlights. Shame, and I said this before, that these things also aren't sort of like directional spotlights or whatever they are. Don't know what they're going to be. Um, so we got two at the top, two at the bottom, and you can see the existing ones are there. So, not so bad, not so shabby. We've got another one of those protrusions there. Don't exactly know what those are, but there's one there and there's one there. We've also got one up there. Um, not bad. I like this colour. 
sort of a rhubarb and custard color, right? In fact, you know, it's, it's a good rhubarb and custard view, I think, of the Asp Explorer. So this is my, my particular one, the Inquisitive Badger. So it's good. It looks good. I think the red, the white, and the yellow goes nicely with it as a, a kind of a color scheme. Uh, if we go back in the cockpit, you can see by looking around, yeah, there's a little bit of scaffolding by there. We're, we're all right with that. Bit of scaffolding. Um, bit of scaffolding over there. And of course, we've got nothing obstructing our view at all whatsoever. Um, you know, and I would gladly pay for a bit of armor on the cockpit of this ship, if you know what I mean. So, um, we're going to pop into carrier services. Have a quick look around some of the, the ship kits, paint jobs that you get with this one. Here you go, you can see the paint jobs that are available with this. I'm rocking around currently with this in the Demolish one, which I think is great. Should really call it the Rhubarb and Custard. Again, lots of checkers going on it. I saw, you know, that it was not too dissimilar to this one. Okay, but like, hey, you know, it is what it is. There's only so much you can do. You've got the hazard survey, you've got the old Bob the Builder, the hazard support. You've got, you know, traditional, what we say, construction or the supervise. There's construct there, my favorite, the demolish. And you've got the hazard engineer. In all though, but here's something to notice. You click on this and all those embellishments are gold. And we like gold. It does look pretty good in gold as well with all these bits bolted on all goldened up same goes again for the explorer gold and all the paint packs you can see it the embellishments of the hazard pack do change with the color of the ship that you're getting again i like that one i like the pharaoh as well did an awful lot of work with the pharaoh um but you can see it does move quite nicely all right and that's the same with all the ships Having it in gold as well, lots of reflections going on. Your graphics card's gonna have a head fit, but it does look pretty good as well. Even if it's not just gold, go for the golden. All good stuff, right? I like that one, and that's how I'm gonna keep that for the time being. Nice and bright, nice and breezy. Now, it's a busy old bit of ship kit, this is. Let's not take anything away from that. There are some really good things we've got here. We've got the lights. We like the lights. But this, this is just daft. I don't know, what you think about this? Yes, it's busy. I think everything else is fine apart from that. You just can't have it obscuring your view. You some will say, oh well, doesn't obscure the view that much. Well, it does, right, because Right where you're going to be shooting things, and bearing in mind on this model, right, the guns come down here. Either side, mandible guns you could call them, right? It's going to be an awful lot going on. On the spotlights though, you have got one, two, three, four, five on the front. There you are, they're flashing. Um, and two at the top. I like all this going on here. Again, we've got one of these things. Don't know what that is. Um, we've got some barrels. I like it. I do like it. It's not obstructing any of the hard points again. We've got some sort of canisters over here. Don't know what that could be. Uh, and this is quite good. Now, normally, these sort of like sensory man uh, mandibles are sort of like exposed. But now, you've got a whopping great big bit of lovely hazard construction metal covering them. I quite like that idea. It does make it look rugged. Um, some may say, well, it just looks like someone's gone to town with the scaffolding on this one. And I would intend to agree, to be fair. It's very busy. Perhaps to the point where I think they've gone a bit too much on it. On the back, flaps of the order of business, who were misses. Um, and you can see I've got it like in its sort of supervisory yellow. Um, right here for the crate mark too. It's not offensive. I just think that's a bit stupid. Right? There's no getting away from that. That is daft. 
Um, does look a bit meaner. I think they've gone to town a little bit too much with the scaffolding on that. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, we're a democracy. Put some nice comments in the comment section uh, and let me know what you think about this uh, in regards to the crate. The crate's getting an awful lot of action at the moment, Crate Mark 2, because of the Thargoid War and what have you. And it's a good Thargoid bug basher. Uh, and a lot of people like the crate as well because of the retro value. Do you think this has spoiled the retro value? Hmm. Could well be. I don't know. Anyway, out of all the paint jobs, I think this is perhaps the most busiest. And this section has got to win the award for the worst bumper ship kit you could possibly get. Um, but anyway, that's just my honest opinion. You know, you could always not put it on, but then you wouldn't get all those lovely spotlights, would you? So here we are looking at the paint job. So you get the construction standard. There you go. This is quite a busy one, the demolish. Not sure I quite like that, like I like some of the other ones. Bit too much red, I think, going on. Makes it a very dark mod, uh, model. I do like the green. It's a bit garish. I do like it. Uh, again, you get the supervise. You get the hazard support. Nice and sort of like a light blue. Uh, and then you get the survey. And of course, all the other ones you pick up along the way from playing the game, you know. I quite like this one. This one looks quite good. Nice one for Christmas. Again, you've got the old Azure paint job. If I was to pick one, probably the one I got. The yellow or the green, I think. The engineer or the construct, I would go for. I think that's quite good, and it makes something of the model. Next up on our tour of ship kits, the hazard ship kit is going to be that of the Python. Nice old model, this. I do like it. Have gone to town on the scaffolding, however, but it does look pretty good on the model and does breathe a bit of extra life into it. Starting off in the livery section this time, just to mix it up, it's a bit busy, right? You've got some good ship kits here. I do like the green. I am tempted towards the green. The blue's not bad. You know, I don't think it, it quite catches the colours quite right. Um, we've got the hazard survey. I would go, say, with the green on this one. Or if you're hell-bent of using the hazard um, paint jobs that you get, and there are quite a few paint jobs available for this, sort of like, you know, it's a regular sort of stalwart ship of Elite Dangerous, good multi-superiority role ship, perhaps you could go for the supervisor. I mean, looking at it in black, that just looks nasty, but you can't see anything. Some of the paint jobs I've got here, perhaps the vibrant yellow is a good one. Um, again, you know, vibrant orange, but you know, nothing really compares perhaps, I think, to say some of the metallics that you can also get to put with this as well. Now, these are not part of the hazard ship kit. I'm just having a bit of a browse through, um, the store looking at this. And it's, it's good that all the hazard parts change color with it. I mean, here we are, bronze. That looks fab. Absolutely fab. You know, I think the metallics do look really good, but if you're concentrating on what um, you get with the hazard ship kit. That's a good one. I would say I'd also say perhaps the green So we're gonna stick with the green with this one Let's go back and let's get back on the deck to have a good look round Well straight away, there's a lot of scaffolding and bolts going on isn't it? Um, just look at it. Just look at it everybody. Just look at it. There it is No getting away with it. Good old big hunks of green scaffolding and bolts going through it as well. Makes it there's makes it look a bit busy. Is that gonna restrict your view in combat? This one, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it'll be all right. It's pretty good though. Um, I do like it. Um, this color tends to lean itself, I think, more to the Python, it being green. That's just my own personal preference. But, you know, you've got a little bit of ship kit poking through there. Look at the top. Probably with a nice light on it. Uh, we're going to turn the lights on. Pow! Look at that. There you go. And you got good reflection off the, the scaffolding bars that are holding all this onto your ship. Starting at the back. Ooh, misses. Look at this. This is not bad. Again, flaps are the order of the day on the back of the ship. Um, 
Not too much done at the back. You've got these things here. That's sort of like cowl around the engines. Cool. Great. And I think this particular ship kit as well, with the sort of the yellow and the green, you get a good little effect there, look. I like that effect there. Now, there's a pulsing strobe light there as well. We've got these edge of the wing sort of like defenders. We've seen on mostly all the models um, so far. A little bit of uh, grating along the lights there as well on the sides. A bit of light protection. Wonder how much those headlamps are down Halfords. And then at the top, we've got a double set of spot lamps right there. Now, they are on what looks like to be a movable base, but as we know, they don't move. And that's a bit of a shame, really. Shame they aren't all animated. Bit of scaffolding, holding it all together there as well, and the flaps at the back. Moving down to the front, again, we've got... I don't know what that looks like. That looks like a bit of a step plate, because you're not going to be stepping on that, let's be fair. Looks like you probably put some sort of, like, I don't know, drilling arm on there. Don't know what they were thinking, but it looks like it's ready for some sort of attachment. Uh, we've got these. I can't quite remember where I've seen these sort of, like, pole connecting drums before. Can't quite... It'll pounce back to me. Put it in the comments if you can remember. Again, we've got this big amount of um, scaffolding at the front. So we've got two lights at the top. You've got your existing lights on the side, there and there. And of course, you've also got them at the front. You've got these ones here now. Now, Frontier Art Department have decided to put the LEDs in these ones, which is great. Fantastic. And of course, you've got the four at the top as well illuminating the way i like this one so far i think the most stupidest one i've come across is that of the crate mark ii which is a shame because i like the crate mark ii it's a big ship it can carry it off i don't think it looks too busy uh it looks a bit busy on the on the cobra and i think on the crate it just looks ridiculous but um this here i think is great even the detail Behind the lights, look. Get that feeling of industrialism, farm machinery. That's the idea. That's what I get from this. Anyway, this is the Python with the hazard ship kit in the green. I quite like the green. I really do. Now, here's a good ship a lot of people are going to be used to using, and whether or not they put the hazard ship kit on this is going to be up to them. It's all about the top and the sides and very little on the front, although it does hang round, round the chin. We're going to use this ship. Let's take a look outside, see what it's all about. Now, there's not really much to say about the good old Anaconda here. It's a big old lump of a ship. We all know it. People love it, people hate it. But out of all the ships we've got, this is perhaps... I would say. One of the ones people are going to probably feel the most about. Turning those lights on, what have we got? Right at the front, by the sort of observation deck, as it were, you've got two spots at the bottom. Not particularly bright. You've also got the ones in the nose that you all already had, right? Great. Moving around to the sides, um, we've got, again, some of these flappy things right here. Not entirely sure what they're all about. Uh, and you've got some, I don't know, look like heat sinks. God knows what those are right by there anyway. All, again, cosmetic embellishments. Over on the back, we've got some protection around the back wings that look like that they could close and perhaps, you know, um, enhance aerodynamics. But they're going to be static in this because it gives you no um, other animation. Nothing at the back on this module. Not even any additional flaps, right? Um, it's all about the top and these tanks we've got here. All right. Lots of scaffolding going around that particular section there. And then as you move down, you've got four small lights, I would say, right? Which, which are making this sort of illumination we've got there. So that's four. The two you normally got so that's six, and two others. 
Seems to be a bit underpowered on the old light to me. Now it would be good as well, I think, in the game if you could use light as a weapon. I suppose you could do, really. You put the lights on, try and blind any people coming at you on foot. But, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed about this module. I mean, I've seen busier stuff going on on some of the smaller ships. Yes, the ships are smaller. But, you know, the Anaconda, it's a big ship. It could afford an awful lot of scaffolding on that to make it a little bit busier. Now, I'm not sure if, because the Anaconda is what the only ship currently in the game that can have damage applied to its module, its, well, its model, I should say, um, that that was one of the reasons why they didn't put too much on it. But this one kind of sort of looks like a bit of an afterthought. It's good, I like it. But, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed it wasn't a bit better. Let me know in the comments what you think on this one. So let's look at the paint jobs that you get with it. You know, what's it look like in the hazard paint job? Well, it does look pretty good in the old gold, a gold anaconda. That's nothing to do with all that. You know, even the reflections are pretty good. We've seen this on other modules, other models. The construct is quite nice. I quite like um, the yellow and the red. Yellow and the light blue. I don't know. I'm not first. I, I don't know quite know what that looks like. It reminds me of something. The old yellow and black. That looks like a massive chevron of warning and danger coming towards you. The green. Meh. Nothing we haven't quite seen before. But the blue, I think, is quite unusual. Looking at other ship kits that we've got here as well. Again, these aren't highlighted by any of the pulse red stuff that you would get. And even some of the berry night stuff that was being given away in the frame shift live um, events. You know, all these summer night mango stuff. Haven't really translated well over to the model. Then again, you know, this is the anaconda, isn't it? Eh? It's a big old unit. Personally, I think you either go with the metallics like that and get the color coded ship kit. Or you go with one of the hazard ones, I think, to sort of like get that industrial funk and theme going. I'm going to stick with that one, I think, because, hey, why not? I think I'll leave it for the Anaconda there. A little bit disappointed with that one, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I had high hopes for the Anaconda. I really did. I admit I'm not a fan of a Type 6. I didn't possess one until right now. Um... Has to be said, if you're going to do it, do a keel back. Either way, I thought, well, what are we going to do here? Now, there are ship kits available for the old Type 6. God knows why. Um, we're here to talk about the hazard spoiler. Um, there you go. I'm going to buy it, especially so you don't have to. Um, there you go. There's the transaction put in and it's bolted in at the top. Pop some things on the wings. On the tail, we've got flaps. And on the bumper, we've got a nice cage. Now, this is going to be in, in the stock sort of like configuration we've got here. So, if we just pop back from this uh, into the livery section again, um, into the paint job, let's have a decent paint job. So, what have we got here? So, typically, they're all sort of one sort of like color. That one's got a little bit of the yellow accent in it, which I think is quite nice. Um, and this one, my God, purple? Really? Um, mauve? I don't know what you'd call it. Lavender? Lavender on a ship kit? My God, how is that a hazard? Um, but it's going to be worthwhile having a look at this, isn't it? Uh, and popping out. So we're going to get on the deck. Uh, and see exactly what this looks like, because I'm not convinced. Oh my good God. I'm not a fan of this ship or this model at all. Um, and okay, so it looks a little bit like, a little bit Finding Nemo, I suppose, really. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm getting from this configuration of, of paint pack. Anyway, what have we got here? We've got some flappy things, right? We got some flaps at the back. Now, they just look a little bit oversized, don't you think? These flaps. Got a nondescript barrel. And we've got two great big whopping headlights at the top. Wow. 
there you go. Now, this is a brand new ship. We've got, again, we've got two lights at the bottom, turning them off. There you go. Um, I don't know. It's not doing it for me. A little bit of guard over the exposed sort of like pipes and gubbins there. Although they've just put something over over those with no real grate. I don't know what's going on there. Um, all in all, I mean, very unimpressive. At least the cockpit is not obscured. Not that you're going to do any fighting on this ship. You only have two hard points. Small ones, I think, at the bottom of this ship anyway. Uh, nothing on the top. It's all about hauling. It's all about getting your stuff from A to B as cheaply as possible. Why? 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 Why didn't they just do it for the keel back instead? Because you've got the animation around the nacelles. It would have been quite cool and funky, I think. This, I think, is a little bit of a waste. I feel a bit cheated from the money that I've spent on this. Um, there's the ship. I'll just be using it to store modules on and, and whatnot, I think. Um, the ship kit's there. I've always got it. And it's a completely ridiculous colour that I've put on that as well. Again, not very inspiring. Although I've got to say, you know, it does put the anaconda into perspective, doesn't it? It really does. The Type 6, however, I mean, whether love it or hate it, I'm a bit of a hater. What do you think? What do you think about this ship kit? I think it's perhaps one of the weakest ones on the model. Um, or on the models that have been assigned, the seven ships that have been assigned this. But then again, you know, like I say, I'm not a fan of the ship. So, there you have it. So, there you have it, everybody. That was my comprehensive rundown and review of the new Hazard ship kits in Elite Dangerous. Available for seven ships. Perhaps some were the wrong ships. Perhaps some need a little bit of a redesign, a tweak. Well, FDev, listen, is that it? Is that the way it is, especially on the crate? In which case then, perhaps the front of that crate Mark II isn't going to be used so much. Let me know what you think in your comments, and if you stuck through this entire video, then I thank you. I really do. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and check out for the live streams as well on the weekends. Do you think this is going to be the shape of things to come? for perhaps say functional ship kits. Has it got to be ship kits? Why haven't they done anything for the SRV? It's not all about suits with Odyssey, but hey, I do like that retro spacesuit. Could we be seeing things like trailers and additional spotlights on the SRV? More combat themed ship kits as well, you know, for, for our ships. What about Imperial ships? Do you want to spoil design by bolting on some scaffolding there? It would seem not. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this Elite Dangerous video on the Hazard Ship Kit. Hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to reading your comments in the comments section. Keep it clean. We're all friends here, and I'll see you soon in the next video.